Hello, uh, good afternoon, and we are presenting a PPT on conceptualizing a TOC enhanced chat chatbot pattern recognition and interaction. Here are our teammates, and uh, and going with the abstraction of the project, and a chatbot is a software which is capable of communicating with human by using natural language processing. In our project, we plan to develop Python based chatbot that uh, integrates theory of computation concepts, including finite automata and regular expressions. The chatbot will in interact with users, recognizing patterns and keywords in their inputs. We will begin by defining initial regular expressions for basic user interactions, including greetings and inquiries. Further developments may enhance regular expressions and broaden the chatbots. TOC related capabilities, creating a versatile education tool with practical TOC applications. And coming with the introduction, the Alan Turing test introduced in 1950 marked the chatbot concept in be beginnings of the chatbot. And there are different types of chatbots. They are open domain chatbots discussed in the general topics like closed domain chatbots, focus on specific knowledge areas. Interpersonal chatbots assist with the task like booking, like inter interpersonal chatbots integrate into personal messaging apps. There are different types of chatbot goals, like informative chatbots deliver pre-stored or fixed source data. Task-based chatbots perform specific functions such as booking, and the conversational chatbots engage users in human-like con uh, conversations. We'll talk about the methodologies, how a chatbot generally works. The main features based on how a chatbot works is based on pattern matching algorithms on artificial networks. Whenever we search for something in a chatbot, the chatbot delivers as as much as prompt message, which is close to our question. This is basically this comes out based based on the pattern matching. Pattern matching is nothing but matching of the algorithm by by making sure by using an algorithm it matches up with the, all the data it is having and then gives up the exact answer which we are looking for. This is basically it comes with the help of utilizing artificial intelligence markup language. Another important factor is algorithms. An algorithm is basically nothing but a set of instructions. By using an algorithm, the chatbot delivers the message which we are looking for. Using this algorithm, using the algorithm, chatbot uh, de delivers the as as prompt uh, answers or the solutions which we are looking for. Artificial neural networks are very essential in this aspect because th these are trained using iterations, chatbot fine tune weights to enhance accuracy. The main the main concept of using a chatbot is to get as accurate an answer as possible. We may uh, discuss about the uh, chatbot architecture. As you know, uh, here uh, in the in our chatbot, we have a front end system. Here, a uh, uh, user can interact uh, with the clients via website or mobile app like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp Business, Slack, and Google Hangouts. And then uh, comes the environment uh, where um, the NLP engine, uh, in a, in a, there is an NLP engine in a chatbot architecture which plays a crucial role in contextualizing users' messages by decoding and converting them into structured inputs. And it uh, consists of um, an intent classifier or an entity classifier and with a Facebook uh, feedback mechanism and policy learning for continuous improvement, including uh, users uh, rating to enhance uh, performance in subsequent conversation. And then come the traffic server. Uh, traffic server actually uh, handles user traffic requests and directs them to the appropriate components. And the traffic server often routes the answer from internal components to the front end system. And then, then the actual chatbot is designed for seamless integration with existing backend systems, allowing effortless linkage with crucial components such as CRM databases, payment applications, calendars, and other tools. And here is our uh, chatbot training uh, workflow. So first, uh, we uh, did the data preparation task. Here in the data preparation, we first loaded a PDF format of the textbook, textbook uh, of a Theory of Computation course, uh, and we load this PDF using the Python PyPDF library. Then uh, we, the loaded document was uh, split into smaller chunks, uh, and each chunk is processed to create embeddings. And these embeddings represent the content in numerical form 
uh, making it easier for the chatbot to understand and search through the data. And then uh, we store this there. After preparing the data set to be understandable for the chatbot, we indexed uh, the embeddings as well as the document chunks for efficient data retrieval. And in our code base, uh, data, data is uh, uh, stored in Chrome DB, uh, which is an in-memory storage solution for quick access. And then we, uh, when our user submits a query or a question to the chatbot, the query is uh, um, first uh, embedded using the uh, same embedding model used, uh, used during the data processing. And then the chatbot performs a semantic search uh, through the index data and embeddings to extract relevant information related to the user query. So I feel this process ensures that the chatbot can provide contextually and uh, accurate responses. And uh, when the chatbot pass both the user query and the relevant data, it then goes to a language model. Uh, we used a language model from uh, the Hugging Face library, which is called. And uh, so last of all, uh, we have discussed, uh, we have developed a Python-based chatbot for serious computation. Uh, and they successfully trained you this uh, using the data from a textbook with an interactive user interface. And this makes a uh, chatbot accessible and practical. So uh, though we only use one document for training for now, but in future we plan to expand the knowledge base with the multiple documents to make a more comprehensive tool. And last of all, we can say that our work represents the intersection of theory of uh, computation and practicality, bridging uh, automata theory with real data world application. So through our work, we aim to unlock the chatbot's full potential and offer a valuable resource for those who are exploring the theory of computation. So thank you all.